What you are seeing right here is an old Pentium 4 IBM desktop that was thrown out. Now, this computer isn't worth much. It's probably worth maybe $30, $40 on the used market. Only has a CD drive, um, floppy drive it has. And if you open it inside, the specs are even more underpowered. Pentium 4 hyper-threading processor, which only is 32-bit. Thermal paste that had dried up and was extremely hard to remove. I could, it was like a nightmare getting it all off. And I had to replace it with some Antec Formula 6 thermal compound. I highly recommend this thermal paste to anybody because it just works wonders on it, just about everything. And as you can see inside... This computer is not very, like, high spec whatsoever. And let me just unplug the power adapter because, pro tip, when you're working in computers, you should always unplug the power adapter. And as you can see here, this is not that big of a heat sink, but it is hot after I put the new thermal paste in. And... What there also is, is only one stick of RAM. That's right, as you can see here, there is literally only one stick of RAM, and it is 512 megabytes. So there's not much memory inside this computer, and it's DDR1 too, as you can see by the chips this has. So, this isn't really high-end stuff whatsoever. And I'm going to go shut the computer here now, and I'm actually going to show you what this computer can do when you install Gen 2. So let's shut this old junk computer. Well, it was old and junk before I installed Gen 2. And let me just shut this. It's, see, look, it's not even shutting all the way right. There we go. It's 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 latched shut. Let's plug this in. Uh, where's the power? And power coming up. It's doing that check thing IBMs and Dells do. Let's go over to the monitor view. And let me interrupt startup just to show you this, these nice, amazing specs of this high end computer. Wow, Pentium 4, 512 Max <laughs> and an 80 gig hard drive, not even an SSD. But let's watch what this thing can do when you install Gen 2. And I mentioned this computer runs pretty noisy too. Only around 20 seconds, and a few seconds later, the login prompts up, for the desktop that is. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. Let's log in too. I've only installed a few apps, because with Gen 2 you only need to install what you want to use. LXDE comes up pretty fast as usual, and this is a Pentium 4 with 512 megs of RAM. Keep in mind, I got this computer for free. Look how fast it's browsing the web. 512 megs of RAM, not two, not 2 gigs, not 1 gig, not 4 gigs, 512. Look how fast this is browsing it. Of course other apps like VLC start pretty quick too, I've only sold a few apps so far. 
This is Gen 2 right here. On a PC with only 512 megs of RAM and a Pentium 4. You can install Gen 2 on your higher end computer too and see what it does. Because Gen 2 is the best Linux out there, hands down. That's all. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.